To this day, 11 years later, I do have a chronic cough. Randomly, I will cough up blood. When I first started developing symptoms, the doctor just kind of said, oh, you have a strep throat. I'll send you on your way with antibiotics. I got worse within hours by the time I knew I was already in intensive care. It was getting worse and worse that they actually had a priest come in. My family crying um, and the priest praying over me. If none of these antibiotics can kill the bacteria, then what's gonna happen? Am I even gonna get out of the hospital? Am I even gonna continue to live? Bacteria evolve super quick and they're really smart. This year, about a million and a half people are gonna die from a drug-resistant bacterial infection that we used to be able to treat. In 25 years, that's gonna be 10 million people a year, at which point it surpasses cancer as a leading cause of death. My research is primarily focused on AI for drug discovery. We try to build machine learning models that can design entirely new drugs from scratch. Kind of going through, running the code, and now we have some of the molecules that were designed by the AI model. So we have each of the different structures of the molecules and then the prediction from the machine learning model of how effective it might be. So our wet lab collaborators test about 10,000 to 13,000 molecules and see when we incubate uh, some bacteria with that molecule, can the bacteria keep growing or is the molecule actually preventing that bacteria from growing? And then we can show the machine learning model these 10,000 or so molecules and teach it this molecule does work, that molecule does not. And through the process of trial and error, it starts to learn which molecules are effective and which ones are not effective. The idea is, can we leverage artificial intelligence algorithms to design us brand new antibiotics that are totally new to nature that bacteria haven't seen before faster and ideally less expensively than we have previously? If you sit down and draw out every molecule you can envision, that looks like a drug that someone could take. That number is 10 to the power of 60. And that's a one with 60 zeros behind it. The total number of grains of sand on our planet is 10 to the power of 18. It becomes a trick of like, how do we navigate? How do we search this chemical space? Because we can't do that in a laboratory, but we can begin to do it in a computer. 